Let's see if this works for us. I want to give you a quick tabletop of the keyhole. <clears throat> so a couple key things for you to think about, pardon the pun. Uh, here is our chute, and here's our 18 inch diameter circle to execute a turn, okay? Most people, and I don't know how you were taught exactly, but you're gonna come in. Now this is five feet, so I have to be careful. The motorcycle is pretty wide. You're looking around three feet, so maybe you have a foot on either side not to strike a saddlebag. So you don't have a lot of wiggle room in here. You come in and you bring the motorcycle fully inside this circle, and then you execute your circle and you come out. Now depending, it's 18 feet, that's a lot of room. <clears throat> so it depends on wherever you want. If you're, if you're really skilled, once you're in here and your saddlebags have cleared these two cones, you can full lock right, full lock left, come around and, and exit. Here are some of the problems with that. First of all, when you're coming in through the center and now I'm waiting till I'm in this portion of the circle to actually initiate a turnaround. I've used a lot of real estate before I'm actually doing anything. You're actually already eating up this 18 feet just getting in and that's going to do a couple things. One, from this point you're going to execute a circle. You're going to have to use a lot of this whether you dive in deep or not but it's going to end up putting you somewhere around this area of the circle before you're like, okay, I've turned myself around. Now I've got to get out. So now this chute is still over here, away from where you're at. So you're gonna now, so basically you're coming in, you're gonna to have to make a full lock right, quick full lock left, and now you're finished with your circle. Now you've got to go right again, and you've got to navigate this portion. So you're gonna have a risk with this cone coming in and this cone coming out. Not to mention you're eating up a lot of real estate to execute your circle. And that's kind of typical how people do it. Come in, full lock right, turn your head, turn around, clutch throttle, and navigate your way out, power out. What I suggest, which is faster and safer and easier and um, just better, I don't mean to brag, but I'm telling you this stuff works. When you come in, what you're going to do is, we're going to assume on this one, you want to make a counterclockwise circle. What I want you to do is, you're going to move the bike over to this portion, over to these cones. Yes, I know if you're taking this straight up and down, your saddlebag can hit that. That's why we don't take this straight up and down. What we're going to do is, we're going to initiate a right-hand turn right here. It's going to be right here. So what you're going to do is, you're going to come into this chute, take a quick jog right, as we're leaning, so I'm going to make this uh, appear. This is our motorcycle. Pardon, it's my daughter's. So you're going to come in, and rather than just scoot your bike over to the left where you're going to clip these cones, you're going to dive in and add lean angle, and you're starting a turn right here. Right here, you're starting a turn, okay? So you'll have no problem leaning the motorcycle to, say, a 45 because you've got momentum. So we're going to drive into this circle. We're going to come in. Take a quick jog left, drop the bike over, and execute a turn. So the big difference here is now instead of having, say, <clears throat> normally this point somewhere in here that we're actually going to start trying to execute a, a, a turn, we're going to come in here, dive in left, and execute our turn here. So now this arc here is how we're getting in. And now we're way back here executing our left. Okay, <clears throat> so now what we want to do is, I say steer to the outside cone. I think you've heard me say that. In this case, these are going to be our outside cones. So what we're going to do is, <clears throat> now we're going to come in. We're going to be pushing the motorcycle over to these cones on our left. So we're using all of this pattern. Now, on my left-hand circle, I'm starting to push this motorcycle over to this corner and execute my circle. Okay, and now that I've made a nice tight circle from the far right position it's much faster and smoother but now that I'm making this circle take a look at what it does it puts me much more in line with the exit than if I were to come in and start trying to so I'll give you an example just so we can kind of see the difference I come in here I start trying to make my circle over here and now Take a look at where that puts me. 
very, very different spot. So now I can just come straight out under acceleration rather than having to come back out and navigate this cone and figure out how to get back through here before I exit, okay? So that's the difference. We're gonna take a little, and I'm gonna demonstrate this. We're gonna take a little jog left. We're gonna start a lean angle right here so we don't have any problem with this cone. We're gonna drop in. We're gonna come close to the cones on the right and we wanna make as tight a turn from this position as possible to position us as smooth as we can. We don't wanna use all this real estate. Why? Because it's slower. It's a longer arc. We don't need that space, but we're eating up all this space and this stays nice and tight and then we drive straight out.